Communist China is one of the easiest nations in the entire game. And with this simple guide, conquering the world has never been harder. Simpler f- What's up Beijing? Today we're gonna be playing China. The true China, the real China, the good China. The China that has so much industry we can only build roads anymore because we already have all of our slots filled up. And our game plan is actually fairly simple. Machine tools and engineering and we are gonna invite some foreign investors. That's pretty much it. We just want to produce a bunch more Xunchuan divisions. As soon as you can you justify on Zhangxi and as soon as you can you justify on Jibi Zhejim. And we just keep on deploying units. We're gonna get the literacy programs. Finally we will have Free research slots. We're gonna pick this purse industry since we'll be conquering a lot of land and the base efficiency will be extremely handy. Mao does not need charismatic because he obviously is already charismatic. Don't need to waste a trade on this. We declare war and then we just snipe VPs. This is also the thing that's very cool about the early game here. Chinese warlords don't have units. We don't have units either, but we're at least smart enough to just spam out some crappy divisions that will be able to just take tiles and get the VPs. I'm actually gonna pin a little bit and just everyone else just take tiles we have to make sure to not lose the vps here there we go we take everything border justify on Xinjiang. get non-aggression pact non-aggression pact non-aggression pact we can also do it with paraguay but it doesn't really matter Milaxus with the whole common turn just to get our relations up i'm also going to improve relations with the uk and then let's also create an agency there we go we lose the desert fox i mean the coral fox the desert fox is another guy we are at a crossroads which means we are gonna go down the central secretariat we're gonna deploy some more units a big problem is we don't own yunnan so we can't get any of the burma road hanoi route things so that's actually a bit of a bummer. We're gonna declare war on Sibi. Just auto the front. In the meantime, I'm gonna diplo pressure the UK. Those guys should just pin. That's the whole purpose. And with those, we just walk around the AI. We encircle them, take all the VPs. This is very different from the Shanxi war. And by very different, I mean not at all. We're also gonna go down the Maoism branch already. Just keep on taking VPs and in general just tiles. These guys just keep on ramming. Ooh, I've never seen that model. Like the uh, Chinese attack cavalry. It's actually pretty cool. There we go. Then we can do a non-aggression pack with the UK. We do the same thing with the US. We move Siasun over here. The Washington dipper pressure here. I guess we're also gonna do some improved relations with Germany. And all the units just move to the front. We deploy a few more. And I will also get Suyu the army reformer. Let's get the non-aggression pact with the US first. And uh, then we just go in against Xinjiang. We auto the front and uh, none of the, whoops, none of these guys will attack because of supply. And to water flank, the war against Xinjiang is also very different. Oh shit, they're actually attacking. Uh, all right, let's micro the front then. We can do a bunch of missions now. I'm gonna do British cooperation first. Let's improve relations once again. In the meantime, we are gonna get free trade. If you look at our resources, doesn't change anything, but if we get some very juicy buffs and uh, I mean, as communists, we should also participate in the capitalistic market economy. I mean, share all of our goods with the world, with the people. We're gonna produce in the West Freedom, as much as we can, yeah. because if you know your history, someone in the East has some plans, and I guess we have plans in the South, so we're gonna try and get our factories as much away from the conflict as possible. British cooperation, we're gonna get the mission to Germany now. We can stop improving relations. One thing that really sucks about playing communist China, you don't have any RT research, you don't have any support research, you don't have research slots you don't have research speed but we get 670 guns from Xinjiang Ooh. and now we just chill let's get Maoism we're also going to ally with Chiang Kai-shek against the Japanese so the Chinese United Front forms and most importantly the AI gets spammed with 50 events next thing we are gonna get Liu Xiaoqi the workhorse there we go mission to the US and then i guess the free rules get our stab and war support a bit higher get to steal from the soviets we're gonna leave china you used to go down to permit opium trade but the problem is since you can't go below 10 percent consumer goods anymore instead of this you can also go total mo and then get women on the workforce which loses you five percent stab but if you go to ban the opium trade you get five percent stab so you are net zero if you permit the opium trade you will have less pp gain and you lose 10% stab 
It used to be a very cool focus, but now it's just kind of bad. But I don't really mind. I never really liked having low PP anyway. Spending PP is fun. For example, for the war industrialist. The best thing about playing as China, you don't have access to your MIOs because they're locked to regions, which for the civil purposes of the civil war is pretty interesting, I think. Especially if they ever rework the Civil War. But right now, if you ever lose, for example, Hubei, you will lose all of your MIO stuff. Which is just kinda... Yeah. I'd rather not. Ooh, the UK has guaranteed our, de our dependence. <laughs> independence. And I could already give you some planning bonuses. Would also be pretty good. Let's get the crown support guy, as well as the mill theorist. And today we're gonna go down with the grand battle plan. Because uh, we can't really afford superior firepower. We don't have the industry for artillery. Two things I wanna do. We're first gonna create a horse division to feed our troops. Do I already want to produce holy boys? That's very expensive. No, I don't want to produce holy boys just yet. Right, I guess we are gonna go in. Let's also find out what the train is. And we will immediately go in against China. Immediately attack here. We do need war score as much as we can get. Let's also get to do, 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 the infantry guy. We are also gonna micro a little bit here. But for the most part, we just want to get as much land and honestly also casualties as we can get. Oh, please don't leave here. Let's put some support arty on the holy boys for now and then i'm gonna produce a few of those it's actually pretty good how much we have already in terms of arty why did you leave the front let's start producing a single train guys please don't make a new front here i don't care about the japanese the japanese are not a problem right now just ignore them we could get the Tsingtao mp18 already but that one costs us still more we're not gonna be able to afford that not even if we tried really hard a six percent war score we're just not allowed to lose any war score here come on we don't need 12 divisions here i think it's time to get our chonkers out i call them chonkers but they're not really good they can't push better than what we have right now on the front sheesh look at the pushes Keep on deleting the front. Can you push here? Yes! We are retaking China. I mean, we are China. Good, the supply situation. It's pretty good. We're gonna get Chinese general staff now, which will just give everybody a nice little logistics bonus. I mean, planning. I also think we're gonna go down to yeah. extensive inscription. God, I would love it so much if you would stop making stupid borders. 26 divisions on this one tile. Come on. I know we're China, but we don't have to be that much of a Chinese AI. Oh, thank you for the reminder. Because I think it's time to suck our friends off. There you go. Holy boys are done. We're gonna pump out as much as we can. Let's take half of you. Turn you into holy boys. I'm taking so heavy losses. Please help me. Again, keep on building as much in the west as you can. Guys, please keep on attacking. You can definitely win. Right, we're also gonna join the common turn now. And finally, the Soviets would like to give me stuff. But can I suck you off more? All right, I'll take the guns and the convoys. No idea where I should store the convoys though. We could call in the Soviets here. I'm not gonna do it here, but if you do, they would die in China and then transfer all the territory to you. Let's get Milaxis from Japan though, because we can't really push anymore with the border. I'm gonna get Capcom next. Like, we just kind of... We need an MIO for aircraft before we start diving into aircraft. That is the one thing that I don't like about the Chinese focus tree. If you ever drop below 75, it just cancels it. The game should just pause it. Just anything, man. I guess I'm also gonna get a navy guy. I hope I won't have to use him, but you can never be too sure with these games. Stalin, I need more steel and the funny steel for big gun. Today, I don't even care about speed. I'm just gonna make the cheapest flame tank possible. Ooh, China is out and we have 200 points. That's actually pretty pretty good i do want guang si first and let's get a bunch of cheap stuff obviously need yunnan for the focus no but there's 22 steel in there Urot. but still uh, we have 87 factories now as well as resources okay there's two ports that we have to defend i think as well as whatever the fuck is up here what's up beijing Okay, we're gonna produce a fuck ton of these guys as well. Mobile warfare, we do need the uh, division attack on core territory. And we finally have MIOs. 
Let's pump some flame tanks on these guys. Right, I need a bundle of more guns, please. You lot up here. Because I don't think Japan is gonna take too kindly to what happened here. Oh, actually, we can move the capital. Ooh, what does that do? I guess the upside is uh, supply hubs, but yeah, that one is directly on the border, which I'm not uh, too keen on. Yep, the Japanese are coming. 160 days. We have to be ready by then. Looking at the front line, I don't think we will be ready by then. At the very least, the Soviets are coming to the border, but I will try and do it without the so help of the Soviets. Fuck, I don't have the MIO yet. Ah, oh, shucks. Where am I gonna build my factories? Can't build them on the border. Okay. Japan just went in against the Philippines and they are ready for the second China conquest. I don't think this is gonna go that well for you, Hirohito. But who am I to judge? You know what? I'm also gonna sabotage Japan. It's not a whole lot on the China China border though. TBH, TBH. Japan is ready. They might not declare war on us now because they're busy in the East Indies. Don't be a joy kill buzz. Come on. Japan! Declare war on us. Oh god, I just saw another border open up. Maybe don't declare war on us. Please. <laughs> we still have Milexus. Fall of Leningrad. What just happened? Why did you peace out and completely backstab all of the Germans here? Like, especially after Leningrad fell, the Finnish looked like they were doing okay. Oh my god, that was that was a naval invasion probably. <laughs> Come on, Japan. Don't make me declare war on you. Because I'm not ready yet. I, I want Japan to attack me when I'm not ready yet, you know? I want to have a fight. There we go. We have the PLC. And I guess we're going to leave the common turn. Maybe that's going to help. Okay. We could immediately join the Soviets again. <laughs> the China China border is looking very nice. The China Indo China border is not looking very nice. We actually got a few more units here. I just have to pray that the French are not going to lose this. I guess I should keep my troops down there. We could join the Allies, but I don't want to join the Allies because then they're going to run into our land and make defending super easy. Keep on walking around these guys. These are Chinese traitors. The one thing that really sucks right now is if we take the ports, we will have to contend with naval invasions or just Japanese in general. Oh, we can actually start building some convoys. Nice. Okay, we have split up a part of China. Looks like the main goal of pushing the Japanese out of China is working relatively well. And then after that, I think we're gonna worry about Indochina and maybe Manchuria, but we'll see. If Japan sends in way too many divisions here, we can just encircle them. I guess we can do our focus tree down here then. No, we can't do Burma Road anymore. Oh, because China still exists. That's why the China tag technically still exists. Yeah, look at that. Total mobile and we there we go oh our stability is so low yeah pushing has not been that great here i'm also not using my brain here like this is just straight up offensive pushing i wanted to get as much of china as we could before the japanese arrive and now we should be able to take nanjing we got it and if you know anything about china you could build a navy, but most likely you will just keep on building mill factories until every single thing here is a mill factory. There we go. One encirclement. I'm just gonna start closing in here. Oh, we probably need a ton of gun. Oh, actually we only need a ton of artillery at this point. Let's get two more steel from the Soviets and clean up this encirclement here. And here is looking fine as well. Things are going swimmingly for China. Oh, don't you dare. No! Oh, there we go. I want to keep this encirclement. Looks like we can just walk around the AI here. Yeah, they really just don't care about living. <laughs> There was not a single guy on a port here or stopping us in general. Okay, reorged China is gone, which also just cleared this front up. There's not a whole lot going on down here as well. What's up with China? I mean, Japan. Yeah, hey, they do have divisions. Are they in the US? No? I guess the Indies. It's actually pretty stupid, but I'm not gonna put up garrison divisions here. Since Japan is very busy anyway right now, they might not really want to invade us. What ha wh Why are we so lacking in steel right now? What? Oh, we have 150 factories suddenly. Okay, kind of came out of nowhere. I actually have to build roads? What? That's new. Oh, what the fuck are we doing? China fell and suddenly Japan completely gave up on China. Honestly, <laughs> this is going too well. Well, I guess we're also gonna attack down here. Why does this flip to the French? It shouldn't. I, I guess I'm gonna cancel the Milexes that the British have, but why, why does this flip to the French? Oh, did the did the UK conquer it? Uh, that looks like it. Oh, we have our mechanical division. Not sure I'll ever use it, but uh, thanks, I guess. I'll put it next to the fridge. 
Yeah, the Japanese just kind of... They just kind of gave up. Like, uh, the divisions that I have, they, they are not... They are basic infantry divisions for holding. They're not pushing divisions. Actually, I don't need the nukes. I do need the rowing boat first. Now, you can use paratroopers for this, but I'm not going to. Stalingrad has fallen. Oh, sheesh. That's actually... It's actually gonna be a strong Germany. There we go. Northern China and Korea has been cleared up. Yeah, let's just get ready to end the war. Unintentional insult of half of the army that's down here. Like, I genuinely wanted to leave. I just wanted to AFK this front, but looks like we have made some pretty good advancements here. Just took out the entire army. Oh, true. One thing I can do is integrate Tibet. You lot just go over here, please. They just called in. Okay, never mind. Siam just joined against the allies, but not against us. Now Siam joined. We, uh, we cleaned everything up. And now we just wait until we have our navy. Let's get air production. Oh, Japan is being so cringe. There we go. Try me. I guess I'm gonna join the allies. Because I don't feel like building a navy. I'm fine with using my naval bombers to decimate the Japanese navy. But I don't want to spend the next five hours getting proper naval superiority. It begins. The convoy damage. We took a carrier down. I was wondering why we only had eight Sith factories. Yeah, we're trading all over the way. Free carriers. Sheesh. I guess we can't steal the Japanese Navy anymore. Come on, allies. Fine. Twist my arm. Oh god, I fucked up. Because I railroaded them. They don't have org. Actually, yeah, with the base supply, we should be able to make it. We've won. Gave me a shock for a minute there. Like, we could have lost the entire landing here. I like fighting in Japan. It's so simple. The allies should just give us all the land, all the Chinese land. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Ah! The game did say give it to communist China. We can close the Burma road. No! American China is the original China now. If you want to become as wise as me and form Rome in 1937 as Italy, you should watch this video. Oh, it's so good.